Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Giselle Mills. For those of you who are new, welcome and welcome back to my subscribers. So as you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my reading and writing goals for this month of October. Now I try to be realistic and keep my list very short. So I've came up with five goals that I really need to achieve for this month. Now, goal number one, I need to read all the books on my TBR list. If you haven't already watched my October TBR video, I'll put a link to it down in the description bar so you guys can check it out after you finish watching this video. So, just a little heads up, I have four books on my TBR this month and to some people that may not be a lot, but to me it's a lot because I don't read as fast as the majority of the booktubers here on booktube and I'm also an author and I have many other things to do. So that's goal number one, read all four books on my October TBR list. Goal number two is a writing goal. Um, I need to write at least 25,000 words on my current writing project, which is a sequel to my first novel, Through It All. So this is book two. I need to hurry up. Well, not hurry up, because my goal was to finish it before December, but I really want to finish it earlier, and I am almost there. So I just need 25,000 more words, and I would be done with the first draft. And I know I can do that. All I really need to do is write a thousand words every day for the rest of October. And I'll definitely make my quota. But I really need to sit down and get it done. These days I haven't been able to write every single day. And it bothers me. So I need to force myself to have the discipline to sit down and write every single day. Because we're also in October. And hopefully I have the video out already where I announced that I'm going to be doing NaNoWriMo which is National Novel Writing Month, in which um, everybody who participates attempts to write a novel in one month's time. And that month is normally November. So, in writing that novel, the goal is normally to hit 50,000 words. And that will require writing at least 1,667 words every day. And that will be next month in November. Now, October is normally what is called Preptober. I did another video talking about this, but just in a nutshell, October is the month in which us writers who decide to participate in NaNoWriMo decide to prepare the novel that we're planning to write so it would be easier to just get flowing when November starts. Therefore, I want to get my current writing project finished or almost completely finished so that when I start writing my new novel for NaNoWriMo, I won't have to worry about my current writing project. You know, I want to have that finished and then start this new book for NaNoWriMo. So my second goal is to write at least 25,000 words on my current writing project. Goal number three, very related to what I've just been talking about, I'm planning to start outlining my new novel for NaNoWriMo this month because it's October, as I said, also known as Preptober for us who prepare to write for NaNoWriMo next month in November. So yes, goal number three, I have to fully outline the novel that I'm going to be writing next month for NaNoWriMo. And guys, this will be my first time attempting this, writing every single day and so many words in order to get my word count. Goal number four. It's a reading goal. I need to finish reading this book that I started some months ago, since before summer. It's called Confessions of Franny Langton, I believe. I bought it as an ebook because I didn't see it in the bookstore when I went to buy it. And fun fact, but I've never actually finished reading an ebook. <laughs> I bought them and I just have them sitting there on my iPad. And the next thing is, I don't really like reading off my iPad. If I read for hours on end, my eyes start to hurt. I get this eye strain from the glare coming off my iPad screen. So what I really need to get is a Kindle. And my birthday is coming up at the end of this month. So I'm planning to buy myself the Kindle Paperwhite for my birthday. So I'm looking forward to that. So hopefully I could read some more ebooks because it's the glare from the laptop screen from my iPad screen that just keeps me from continuing to read an ebook. And probably also the fact that I much prefer paperback books. But hey, I really want to try finishing off this book, Confessions of Franny Langton. So I can know how it ends because I don't normally not finish books. I always see them through even if I don't like it. And my last goal, goal number five. Basically, I want to make sure that I continue to post videos consistently here on YouTube. I want to continue to provide content for you guys. I'll also be putting up some advice videos very soon that's related to 
writing because as I said NaNoWriMo is coming up and I know many people may be participating for the first time like me but they may be writing novels for the first time and this is not my first time writing a novel so based on what I've learned my experiences I'm gonna be making some videos on writing on how to write a novel, how to write fast, how to create characters, plots, story outlines, things like that. So yes, those are my goals. To recap, read all the books on my TBR for October. Two, write at least 25,000 words on my current work in progress so that I can have that out of the way for when NaNoWriMo starts next month. Goal number three, I have to outline my new novel for NaNoWriMo. Goal number four, finish reading the ebook version of the book the Confessions of Franny Langton. And goal number five, to continue to post consistently here on YouTube. Keep me in your prayers that I could hopefully finish the majority of these. And if you guys have done any October goal videos, let me know down below. And if not, just let me know. Share with me some of your goals. Are there any similar? Or do you have completely different goals? Or maybe you don't make goals at all. But if not, let me know why. If you're not subscribed already, please do so. It's nice and quick and easy and free. I'd love for you to join my community. Just press that red button down there. And when you finish, make sure you click the notification bell so you'd always know whenever I post a new video. You can also feel free to follow me on my various social media accounts. I'm very active on Twitter. You can find me at Giselle underscore Mills. Put it down below in the description bar and also up here on the screen. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook and I have a website it's called GiselleMillsBooks.com Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!